Tesla is looking for prototype vehicle operators across 15 US cities. What does that even mean? Here's what it is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. So what's going on here? Tesla is expanding its workforce by targeting 15 cities for the recruitment of full-time prototype vehicle operators. This is a critical role of St. Tesla aimed at enhancing the full self-driving capabilities of its vehicle and delivering on its robo-taxi promises on the 8th of August this year, when that vehicle is meant to be unveiled, possibly along with the $25,000 EV as well. Now, I mean, really, we've just seen reports that apparently Tesla is going to fire tens of thousands of people from its factory in Texas. This kind of flies in the face of that idea. I believe Tesla is not firing anyone anytime soon. In fact, if anything, they're hiring more people. Located in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, among other locations, this position is essential for the data collection efforts that support Tesla's advancements in autopilot and robotic technologies, says the job description. Speaking of the investment that Tesla are making here, this is going to cost Tesla a lot of money. Elon Musk said that by the end of this year, Tesla will have invested, or spent, you might say, depending on your perception, $10 billion on its robo-taxi or full self-driving. That's a lot of money. That's not really on the robo-taxi, by the way. That's just really the full self-driving software stack and hardware, of course. The role of a prototype vehicle operator involves capturing high-quality data crucial for the improvement of Tesla's autonomous driving performance. So you basically just drive a Tesla car, right? Sounds like a good job. Just, just drive around. Candidates are expected to be highly motivated. Um, takes a lot of motivation to do a job like this, apparently. Attentive to detail and capable of maintaining confidentiality. That's pretty important. Tesla doesn't want you talking to the media. And this is all in a fast paced and dynamic work environment, say Tesla. The job demands a flexible schedule with shifts available from 5 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. or 5 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. running from Sunday to Thursday or Tuesday to Saturday. This is a, basically a full-time job. Tesla North Dot com says that Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently announced the company will unveil its highly anticipated robo-taxi on the 8th of August, 2024 this year. Is this involved in that? I think it is. I think um, really Tesla still has some work to do. Full self-driving is working really, really well. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. I mean, I'm sure you've seen many reports over the last couple of weeks criticizing it. Some reports are saying it's amazing. A lot of them actually are saying it's amazing. But there's also some pointing out some flaws, some areas where it can still improve. And the point is here to get those edge cases to improve it. Responsibilities for the position include operating a vehicle within a designated area to collect data, managing recording devices, performing minor equipment and software debugging, and reporting on data collected during shifts. Operators are expected to provide feedback on data collection processes. Um, they're meant to write daily reports on observations and issues, and ensure the vehicle is in proper and safe working order. So yeah, make sure the tires have air in them, for example. So what are the 15 cities that these jobs are available in? Arlington, Virginia, Elgin, Illinois, sorry if I don't pronounce all these names correctly, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, Miami, Florida, Littleton, Colorado, Bellevue, Washington, Draper, Utah, Jacksonville, Florida, Houston, Texas, Peabody, Massachusetts, Atlanta, Georgia, Clarkston, Michigan, Bridgeville, Pennsylvania, Lenexa, don't know how to say that one, sorry guys, in Kansas, and Farmers Branch in Texas. What qualifications do you need for this role? Well, you need a degree in robotics. No, just kidding, you don't, 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 don't switch off if you're interested in this job. The qualifications include a valid driver's license, exceptional observational skills, proficiency in English, and strong PC skills, especially in Microsoft Office applications. You don't really need any particular qualifications for the job, in other words. But yeah, I mean, you do need a driver's license. Previous experience with driver assistance systems or vehicle testing is an advantage, but not a prerequisite. The position typically requires overtime, says Tesla. That's a normal for Tesla. If you work at Tesla, overtime is expected. It's just part of the job. So far, there is no positions outside of the US. There's none in Canada, none in Australia, none in China. As far as we know, this is just in America. So clearly the United I mean, clearly Tesla is focusing on getting full self-driving working in the United States. 
then they'll focus on other countries. That said, Tesla have, of course, um, used um, done full self-driving development in other countries. So it's not just the US where Tesla are actually working on full self-driving. It's just the main place where they're focusing on it, which does make sense, seeing as most Teslas are in America. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Are you going to apply? Um, do you think Tesla will solve full self-driving this year? Is the whole robot taxi thing um, uh, something that's doomed to fail? I don't think it is personally, but what are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.